Hey YouTube, Dan Ottawa here, the best third slash fourth tier Pokemon Go battler in the world, coming at you with my second Kanto Cup team, and this one is featuring Blastoise. I want to use Blastoise because um, it's a pretty good punish to Nidoqueen, and it's generally pretty bulky and can hang in most neutral situations, and there's not a ton of electric out there right now, so it's a pretty solid option. And so I first, I did a set with it, three and two with... Uh, I tried I tried Nidoqueen on the front and then Blastoise and A Marowak in the bat for Hypno. I went three and two and I did okay with that team. And then I'm like, I wanna try a double weakness to Electra because I'm not seeing it with the flyer. So I put in um Golbat in the back and then I ran it with Graveler in the front as your answer to Electric. And I did okay, again, I did okay with that team. And then someone in the chat yesterday morning on the video said, I've been running Nidoqueen Pidgeot Blastoise and it's worked really well. So I tried it and it did work really well, actually, uh, because your Nidoqueen's main weakness is your, uh, like Hypno, realistically, because Hypnos are everywhere. And Pidgeot and, and Blastoise can both somewhat deal with the, that. And just the gust from the Pidgeot uh, as well. What I will say about this team is there are a couple Pokemon that you really need to move around. So like la off the bat, Lapras with Ice Shard, uh, Dugong, same same thing. Like because both Nidoqueen and Pidgeot take are weak to ice, that causes a lot of problems with the team. And then Blastoise can obviously, if they're like half water, can only hit neutral and they're like resisted actually in most situations unless you get a Skull Bash, but by that time most are feeling. So I still won a few of those matchups because I really jumped around and you're going to see some of those jumps around, jump arounds here. So let's take a look at some of these battles. So Nidoqueen against Dugong. So here we go. Uh, so sometimes I get the, yeah, so what I may do is I'll get the first Poison Jab off because I'm going to Poison Fang off because I'm going to get to it before they get to their move and then I'm going to bail probably immediately into Blastoise, right? Because I can't bail into Pidgeot. So I have to bail into Blastoise and I'll absorb this energy here, which is fine. I don't mind that. And then out comes the Nidoqueens, right? So already they definitely don't have an answer for Blastoise if they're coming in with a Nidoqueen. Like that's not a great answer. The Poison Fangs, the problem is po Nidoqueens is so strong because the Poison Jabs and Poison Fangs add up quickly. But even though they lowered my attack, they're still going to shield. And I get to another move here. So at they're either going to have to double shield or they're going to take super effective from here. And even though I'm, I almost I almost take it out and then I do water gun down. So I took switch and I took a shield. I immediately come back in here because I was like, I don't want them to get loaded with energy. So I know I have two terrible matchups. So let's just get back in here immediately and see if I can just outpace this to poison fangs so that I can take this out or get it pretty low because then hopefully in, with whatever in the back, my Pidgeot could deal with it. Hopefully they're not running like an ABA line. So take it out, out comes a Marowak. And so this game is over because Pidgeot is one of the hardest answers for Marowak. So I'm gonna lower this defense, um, one fire spin down, come with the Pidgeot and the opponent says, yes, I know this game is over. So they back off. In the next matchup here, we have Nidqueen against Lickitung. So this is a, an annoying matchup, but you just stand there, you throw the Poison Fangs, you lower the defense. But the, the thing with this line is you always try to um, bait out like an electric type if it's in the back. So sometimes I stay in here, sometimes I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I was about to say, I'll probably take a move and then bail and out comes a Ninetales, but it's a Charm Ninetales. And so I said, well, they're either going to charm me down or they're going to get to move and take me out. So let's just go for the Brave Bird, right? Don't, no point in baiting. And they do not shield, so goodbye. Just flip that switch. They come with Lickitung again. So they, again, don't have a hard punch for Pidgeot here. Because uh, they would have if they were running um, Powder Snow on that, but they were running Charm. So come back in here. I'll probably shield one up and I now, because they just dumped all their energy. So I'm probably going to just aggressively farm down and come out with two Poison Fangs. Because to lower the defense, yeah, and perfect. It's a, it is a confusion water type. So what? Oh, it was the gold duck. Yeah, because that one caught me, caught me off guard. So they don't shield the first one. They're gonna have to shield the second one. I'm gonna transfer this damage onto the Blastoise. And their defense is lowered twice. So the good news is, 
I just there's no point in me throwing. They're gonna shield one up. The only just water got down at this point. So they throw a cross shop. So I'm guessing they have cross shop in some sort of water type move. Um, because they throw another cross shop here. So I am just going to take that two times lower defense and just water gun down all the way to the bottom here. So the water gun damage actually does decent amount of damage. I know that was two times lower, but it does decent amount of damage in neutral matchups here. So Nita Queen against Nita Queen. It is the bait versus the call game. So I go straight for the earth power as I often do. I don't often bait. Uh, they end up shielding. They throw a move. I call the bait, and it is a bait, so that's great. And I'm immediately going to reset into Blastoise here. And leg, 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 leg. It's been brutal this year. And the problem is they just, they lost count, obviously, because I, the leg has the leg was really, really bad. So now I'm at basically back to black, back to back here, Hydros. So this is going to take this out unless they shield, but they're going to go down two shields. So they just let this go. So now they're down a shield and lost switch and out comes a Grimer. So they're running a double dark slash poison in the back. So that's okay. Blastoise does not care. Blastoise is just going to keep hitting you with these water guns, hydro cannons here. And these hydro cannons hurt. So you got to respect it. So they shield it. And then I'm like, you know what? It's a poison slash dark. So it's got dark and poison moves. Let's just bail save the Blastoise for later so that way I can come back in and just water gun Hydro Cannon the Nita Queen. Let's do some chip damage here. They reset which is fine. Take me down but now I have Blastoise. I got two shields. Do I let this go or do I yeah I probably just let this go right take the first move here because now I can just gust. I can gust this all the way down and I'll have uh, I don't know no, because it'll take three gusts to get down and it takes five to get two so shield up one thinking that's all they were going to get to, but they get to back to back. So lots of damage here. So I'm not going to shield it because I need to save one for the crunch. But do, do take it out. I only need two more to get to the move here. And I do get to the move to take this out. Or they do have a shield, but again, it doesn't matter. I'm just... No, they don't have a shield. So I don't, I don't know why I didn't throw a paper. It doesn't matter. It take, takes it out anyway. So then the queen gets hip now. So tough lead here. Uh, let's get out into Pidgeot. So I use both as a safe swap. Out comes Lickitung. And do I shield this if I remember? And then throw the Brave Bird? Right. So my thought process here is if you shield up a move, they often think that you're just going to throw the Feather Dance to lower their attack and not shield up the second one. So that's when I go for the Brave Bird. So there we go. Get the Brave Bird off. The problem is I do not get to this next move. So I'm either going to have to eat this move or double shield. So I'm going to double shield because my switch clock is almost up. So I'm thinking I can get another move off here and then reset. So I'm at a Brave Bird. Do I go for the Brave Bird or do I go for the Feather Dance? I go for the Feather Dance and they shield. So that's huge. I'm going to come with my Blastoise now because I'm going to have to take a Thunder Shock, which is Thunder Punch, which is fine because I just lower their, their attack twice. So look at that. That does not do much. And they come in with a dugong. So the good news is the dugong can't really hurt me. The bad news is the only way I can hurt it with this is with these skull bashes. And they shield it up knowing that, that I'm probably not going to throw the hydro. So now the bad news is they're probably going to get to two icy winds, which doesn't look like it's enough to take me out. And eh, maybe with the water gun pressure or the ice shard pressure here. So it probably will take me out. The problem is now I have. So I'm going to bank that because I was like, I can't just get farmed down there and I'm two times lowered. So I want to save some energy there. So I come in here and be like, I know I have a bad matchup, but I can maybe outpace to the move here. So I just need to get some chip damage off here. Get the chip damage off. They reset. Come in with the Hypno. I was like, Poison Fang is not going to take it out. I need to Earth Power. So I get to the Earth Power. Take the, throw the Earth Power. Take this out. And now I have a Dugong, which has some energy. And I got two Pokemon, which are almost done. So I come in here thinking that they're going to dump their energy immediately, and they do. And I now have a move, and I was like, I think they just dumped all their energy, so I am just I think a Hydro would have taken it out, but let's just be safe and go for the Skull Bash to take this out. So a Hypno and a Dugong, which is brutal for this team, managed to jump around. So that was probably one of my better matches. It just it involves a lot of jumping. Snorlax. Someone talked about Snorlax being super solid for the team in the comments yesterday. 
and it is it's just super thick and unless there's not many machamps running around because there's a thousand hypnos running around we both instantaneously swap which is uh unlucky for me because had i known they were going to instantly swap into a nita queen i would have swapped into my blastoise but now i think i made the ultimate sin and feather dance bait when i should have just I just I just told you in that previous matchup that if you shield out the first, they assume you're gonna you're gonna feather dance to lower their attack, and I do, and now they get the move off because they're outpacing me, because because gust is such a long move, so they're gonna take me out. So I lost switch and I lost shield. So I was like, let's just come in here. Hopefully that I can just farm down. They can't earth power me. It's just gonna be a poison fang. I'll be loaded with energy, so I'll be able to throw a couple, either. Poison Fangs or close to it. Earth Power, so I throw the Poison Fang. I've already got one off, off here, so it's there's some dip, chip damage. Let's come in here, reset, absorb it on the Blastoise, because they can't really absorb a move on the Nidoqueen right now. So come in, and in the back is their own Pidgeot, which is not great because these gusts are going to just add up. So I think this one's the loss. I, there's not much I could have done here. I, I guess I could have thrown the Brave Bird to get that out of there, but... Seeing a Blastoise on the back is not, uh, seeing a Pidgeot on the back is not ideal uh, just because the gust damage adds up too much too. So I I needed to be at a move because they got back to back here. So I let it go assuming it's to be a Feather Dance and it is, but the problem is I'm already so low that they get a second one off. I have to shield this one up, but it's a second Feather Dance. And then even though I could get to two moves here, two Poison Fangs, this one will take it out, but then a, poison, a, a four times attack lowered Poison Fang does absolutely nothing to the Snorlax. So had it not been four times lowered, I maybe could have taken it out, but just could not work around that there. So close, but not much I can do there, I don't think. Hypno, again, Hypno, tough lead. Got to get out of here. Miss click, so I have to take one there because I missed the square. And they are not getting out right away, which they could have Thunder Punch because most shadows are running like double punch. And so they do have a Thunder Punch. So I'm going to shield it up because this, this damage is adding up and they try and catch on a muck. So now I'm loaded with energy. And again, let's not mess around with this. Let's just get this out of here if I can. So I Brave Bird, they do not shield. So that takes them out one shot, which is nice. Out comes a the Lickitung. They're going to try and lick me down. And I'm just like, nope, let's just go for the Brave Bird because... <laughs> Does not matter. Let's just grab a shield or, or lower this and they let that go. So we'll do a shit ton of jams there. Pidgeot definitely putting in work here. Uh, coming with a Nidoqueen knowing that it's my weaker matchup against the Bastidon. Uh, against the Hypno. Bastidon. Absorb the Body Slam. Hopefully I can counter down. I cannot. I can survive one more. So I think my Blastoise is in my win condition here. And I know they're going to try and snipe me so I'm going to be ready for it throw the poison fang this is going to lower their defense so i can come in with my blastoise and just water oh and the shield too which oh they do take me out there i thought i could transfer the damage but i could not i know one thunder bunch is coming my way so i'm probably gonna have to eat one of them so i'm gonna shield this one up at this point i was like i can eat i can take one for sure uh water gun down come out with a hydro cannon for the back here so gets the counter oh Plus, I need two. So I could have done back-to-back -back there. Yeah, I remember this. I They had a shield, so I, only, I needed two. So there was no point of like letting them sneak in a move. So just fast move it down. So the champ comes in, and then a Grimer. And so I was like, okay, I don't know what my best matchup for Grimer is. So let's just go in here. Uh, I know I could take a Crunch. I got to the Earth Power, so I have to respect it. So I may grab a shield and lower their attack here. So this is one of the times I do bait is when they're like uh, something you have a wood one shot that they have to respect it and they do so they shield which is great and I'm going to come in with Blastoise here because um, Pidgeot obviously has a good matchup against Machamp 2 in case I need to align it with that so let us go with uh, Machamp here uh, Blastoise here I shielded up one just because I didn't want to take too much damage because Shadow Machamp just may come in and start countering me down if I do otherwise so Shield up once. I expect this to come in and just, yep, there are those counters adding up really quick, as one would expect with Machamp. So, and they're going to counter me down now. So I'm like, okay, I know you're loaded with energy. I don't want to take it on my Pidgeot right now. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to try and get to the move to take you out. 
If I can't, I'll just absorb the energy, come in with my Pidgeot, gust down as much as I can. I'm probably going to have to shield up one, and I don't even need to shield up one. And it's a Ninetales, so I could just Brave Bird it, so that one's over. And that's it. So, again, Blastoise is a nice sneaky play in this league, especially a few days ago I just talked about Ninetales. So having all the Nidoqueens Queens out there, and you're pretty thick that you can take a few Thunder Punches from Hypno too. So I like Blastoise, I like the team. Um, again, glaring double weakness in the front and the back to ice. So just keep that in mind. So you can edit it a bit. Like if you want to run a Hypno instead of a Pidgeot, or a Hypno instead of a well, the reason you're not running a Hypno instead of a a um, Nidoqueen is because you're double weak to Electric in the back. So Nidoqueen walls electric so that's the main reason you're running Nidoqueen so keep that in mind if you want to adjust the team but that's it I'm going to go with another Kanto team tomorrow because it seems like more people care about Kanto based on my view counts for the last <laughs> two days the nine tails is at like 6,000 views and my other one just barely hit a thousand after like a day so <laughs> we'll keep those Kanto ones going because I think it's more accessible for people and that is it thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one